have already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a we'll take a look and see what the challenge is gonna be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this King of Swords, and it's with the Nine of Cups. Now, the King of Swords, it can stand for a powerful, forceful, opinionated man or person in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. Um, you could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, especially if this card is not representing an actual person in your life. So you might need to consider the feelings of others before you act. Yeah, this King of Swords, it's a very forceful energy. So you may not be able to get this man or person in your life to change their mind or to do what you want. So you might need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations. But don't overextend your reach. Yeah. So it's with the Nine of Cups. Now, the Nine of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as the Wish Card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. Now, the appearance of this card, it's about happiness, good things to come. It can also... Um, mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. So, basically, the recent past energy, King of Swords, clarified by this Nine of Cups. What I'm getting for a lot of you, Pisces, is that you're dealing with someone who you thought was a wish come true. And I'm saying thought because this Nine of Cups is sitting up, is sitting here with this King of Swords. So, yeah, a lot of you felt like your person was a wish come true. You had very strong desire for this person. And when you were with them, you felt blessed. You felt satisfied. And then I don't know if this person started to show you a, a different side to them or... I don't think you you knew this in, in the beginning, but I'm getting for a lot of you, your person they became, started to become very forceful just over-opinionated. Um, they overstepped their bounds with you. Uh, this person, they stopped using their heart. They stopped using their heart and they started to only use their head. Now, this King of Swords, it's considered the narcissist in the tarot. So, this person, um, like I said, would be very forceful. Um, they will they will misstep they will uh, mistreat you. The King of Swords will mistreat you. They'll overstep their bounds. This person could be stereotypically manly, very forceful. Um, yeah. So you realize that this this is what you're dealing with, and I don't think a lot of you knew this in the beginning. Yeah, because you thought this person was. A wish come true. Then all of a sudden, some uh, they flipped the switch. You, you got to see their other side, maybe their dark side. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. 
Well, we got the strength card, and it's with the king of cups. Now, the strength card, with this one, it's important to take time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you have a lot of kids. So, don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear, because the outward things, they'll be going all right, but what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer your fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. Now, the strength card is with the King of Cups, which can speak of a balanced male and feminine type of energy. The King of Cups actually holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine Often he'll indicate the actual man in your life. Usually it represents a live person that would be very kind, very loving, because whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. Yeah, it's all about love, kindness, and compassion. So, just know you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get this card in a reading. There's an element of pure and true love in your life no matter what your situation is. When you get the King of Cups, so nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you. So basically, Pisces coming up, the strength card clarified by this King of Cups. So, yeah, like I said, what I'm getting is that you're dealing with someone who's not the person who they were when you guys first got to, when you two first met or when you two first got together. You didn't know they had a dark side. Yeah. And you thought this was your wish. But it looks like coming up Yeah, so like I said, with the strength card, your person could see that um, you're starting to practice self-love and become stronger as a person and not really trying to put up with a lot of um, arrogance and mistreatment. So they come towards you offering their cup, the King of Cups, they're offering their cup of love, um, trying to show you their good side now, being compassionate and very loving. So, yeah, they see that you're embracing you and probably not embracing them so much with the strength card here. Because like I said, the strength card is about self-love, self-respect, having some dig dignity, and not just settling for anything. So, like I said, here they come offering their love and Showing you their good side. That's what we got coming up. Now, let's see what the challenge the challenge is going to be. So, we got this Nine of Wands, and it's with the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Wands, it can be a card about boredom in some ways. You could be tempted to do or say... Well, no, wait a minute. That's a page. Okay, we'll start with the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this Page of Pentacles is the card below the word challenge. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. You get boredom. There's, um, losing interest, the Page of Pentacles. You could be bored in some ways, or you may be tempted to say or do things. To shake things and people up for just a little bit of excitement. But you want to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy. Because we all know excitement, it can be created. Now the Page of Pentacles is a great energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious. Tedious work to get accomplished. It can give you balance. Well, it can give you backbone. 
and focus and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. Now, this card is with the Nine of Wands. Now, when the Nine of Wands comes up, the first and the best step to do is to take a deep breath, calm down. The Nine of Wands is a card above the word challenge. Don't let, don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take things one day at a time, one hour at a time, one hour at a time if you can do so. Because at least some of the worries, they'll likely turn out to be imaginary. So get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? So your challenge, Pisces, Nine of Wands, clarified by this page of Pentacles. So what I'm getting for a lot of you is that looks like you, you might start to close yourself off from this king of swords yeah the nine of wands they're they're like back off don't come anywhere near me you're not budging and you you put up a barricade yeah you close yourself in and you, you're like i'll just sit here don't come anywhere near me yeah, but with this page of pinnacles here, it looks like your person. They they could be reaching out to you. Yeah, they'll be reaching out to you, but you're you're kind of bored with what they have to say. Yeah, you're really bored, and you're just closing yourself off. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We have the Two of Swords, and it's with the Star card. Now, the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you are not, it could be time to bring things back in a balance. Now, this will require open communication on your part. Just know that nothing changes without effort. Now, the Two of Swords, it's with a star card. With this card, you could start to feel really inspired, and you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. Yeah, your confidence is increasing, and this could, this could help reach towards any goals that you have, um, whether it's emotional or financial. Your needs will be met. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted. But like I said, it's un with the star card, it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. This could also be a spiritual card, so you could find yourself feeling at one with all of creation. It's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. So your outcome, Pisces, Two of Swords, clarified by the star. Yeah, so like I said, you looks like a lot of you are going to close yourself off to this person. They're not who who you thought they were. Yeah, they, you're starting to see more and more of their dark side. But they're reaching out to you, trying to show you their good side, but then the dark side keeps coming on back. So you're practicing self-love. You're trying to be stronger as a person. You're bored with what they have to say when they do reach out to you. You're closing yourself off and with the two of swords here for the outcome. It looks like you're blocking this person and you're going to choose to avoid them. Yeah, because you're trying to feel fabulous again like the star that you were. Or, 
Or maybe you felt like you were fabulous before you met this person. And maybe they they kind of bring you down because the king of swords, they'll, they'll not only mistreat you, but they'll beat you up with words and make you feel really, really tiny, really small and worthless. So yeah, you're trying to feel fabulous again. Like the star that you know you are, rejuvenated, hopeful about the future again. And it looks like you're, you're going to choose to avoid and block this person. Because that's what the Two of Swords will do. So Pisces, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So... Pisces, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading just in case this does not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person could actually be a friend, could be a family member, or it could be a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. So, Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I can never say that enough. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope that you have a great day. And take care.